Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, another AL811H. We'll be getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, 572s. I'll show those installed once it's all completed. This thing needs a lot of work. I have the knob slipped off, so I'll have to put that back on. Someone added this LED strip. I'm going to get rid of it. It wasn't even connected. So the wires could have touched a high voltage point or somewhere else. So the uh, lamps work in the meters. Plate choke opened up in the middle. Uh, I'm going to replace it. Someone twisted it, soldered it. I'm going to install parasitic board. I'm going to do the I'm going to ground the grids. I'm going to put in the diodes uh, in series with the cathode return, you know, the center tap of the filament. You can see the old anode caps, they broke off and they're down there. I'm going to do the bias mod. I'll che check the meter protection diode. This is an older one. I prefer these. It has the open frame relay. I'm going to clean the TR relay. The SO239s are good. I'll clean the rotary switches with deoxy gold. And uh, should be it. Um, check all the solder joints, make sure all the screws are tight. And then I'll test it for full output on every band. And then after I'm done with this, I can finally get to work on this. This is a three tuber. So I was waiting on all the parts. <laughs> so when I get these two done, the other two amps to my right, third done, I can move these out of the way and then I'm going to put some more amplifiers on my bench so as you can see these are done done and paid for just waiting a little while before they're shipped due to the holidays some pentalab tubes here more pentalab tubes really good people over there they always keep me supplied Never any issues with the supply chain. You know, I've heard of, uh, you know, in the past I've had problems with other companies where they, they run out, but they always keep me supplied. Okay, so I'll be back. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back. I have the tube socket assembly removed. Someone tried to ground the grids. Did a really bad job. It's going through the strap and then through this wire over to the grid. They added the gas discharge tubes. I'm gonna I'll replace those. Poor solder work all over the place. The filament leads coming from the filament choke to these two connections right here. Also uh, poor poor solder work here to here. So um, I drilled four holes and I will I'm just gonna cut some strap. I'll cut some copper strap this time and go from the new connection right to the grid and like I said I'll change the gas discharge tube. Some of these were loose as you can see they're tight so you always want to make sure these are really tight and uh, what I do is I take the screws out of the bottom I take the screw out of the uh, top of this one that's where the safety choke connects and I'll tighten all these up I'll, I'll tighten these up with the uh, the wrench you know so they're nice and snug and then you know when I go to Put it back in, I put the screws in nice and tight with the proper size Phillips head screwdriver so I can really get them tight. So, okay, so I'm going to get to work on this and I will be back. See you soon. Okay, I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. Installed the knob, cleaned the rotary switches with deoxy gold, bias modifications, the voltage divider, got rid of that LED strip, the meter lamps work. New parasitic board, tightened connections on the air variables, touched up on some solder joints, grounded the grids, put in new gas discharge tubes, put the bias diodes in. So what I do is I cut, there's like a trace on the board, I cut it in two spots, I just file it down to break it and I, I use my own meter to make sure it's open and then I solder the diodes from one side to the other side. So. I end up using, I have a bunch of the, uh, the 10 amp 1 kV diodes, so I put six of those in series. The SO239s are good. And when I go to ship this back, 
you know you don't ever want to twist these caps back and forth you want to kind of like get underneath and wiggle them back and forth just carefully and you know get them up because they're going to be really tight um, you know when you go to remove the tube sometimes they're loose and they pop right off and that's not good you want to make sure you have a good connection so I end up taping these underneath with electrical tape or you know pack or like blue tape or packing tape uh, just up underneath a couple wraps you know just so they're not dangling and whacking the plate choke or each other so and then the this material frays right here so not good so yeah new plate choke so this thing's all set full out put on all bands does not have the MOVs when you have the gas discharge tubes those can come out and uh, this thing's all set and SO 239s are good so thanks for watching if you need an amplifier repaired and you see if you have an amplifier that you see on my YouTube channel feel free to give me a call my phone number is 203 8924119. There's my website. And I will be getting back to this next week. I'm going to finish this up. So, um, that one, I, I ran out of gas discharge tubes. I got so much going on here. So, I'm going to pull another uh, one or two Ameritrons out of the box and see what they need. I have another one or I have like five or six of these upstairs. I don't know if they're four tubers or three tubers, but so, but and you can see the Pentalab tubes installed. Awesome company, great customer service. I just can't say enough good stuff about them. They just have such a direct involvement with the factory over there in China that you know they uh, they make sure that the product is good. You know, so just you know, great product, great customer service, and that's what really matters: the customer service. So, and you know, the fact that I get a good, a really good product. So, okay, so thank you for watching. That's AmpRepairGuy.com two zero three. 892-4119. Take care.